I'm getting a little bit crazy now, although I showed you in many videos that I'm disappointed with the DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro, at least with the first firmware, but still I went out and I bought a second one. Let me explain. Hello everyone, I hope you are all good. I'm Photorabs and in today's video I'm going to talk about the DJI Action 5 Pro once again and why I bought a second one. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by DJI. I haven't changed my mind about this camera, at least with this firmware update, with this first firmware that you have on this camera before the firmware update that we will have maybe in a week or two from now. And to be honest, well, after I posted my video about the 8-bit colors and 10-bit colors with these cameras, I got lots of messages and I got one from one of my favorite content creators and I decided why not getting a second camera and make this comparison even better because before I was comparing the camera in 10-bit and 8-bit and it was not simultaneous recording because I had only one Action 5 Pro and I tried to compare it also with the Insta360 Ace Pro, I tried to compare it with the DJI Action 4, but I never compared it with the same processor, with the same all new sensor that they claim they have on this camera. So this is one reason why I bought a second DJI Action 5 Pro, so I can make all the tests for you, so you don't have to go buy this camera if it's not suitable for your needs. So if you would like to support me, you can like this video, you can also share it if you find it helpful. You can write me your comments, your thoughts in the comment section box. You can subscribe to my channel, which does not cost you anything. And if you are interested in this camera or any other piece of kit that I talk about on my channel, you can refer to my affiliate links. I get small commissions and that's a huge help so I can keep creating content and trying to find solutions and trying to explain to you my thoughts, my point of view about cameras. So once again, this is a pain in the to pay twice for a camera that I am disappointed with. But in order to make it more clear for you, this video should be helpful. At least that's what I think. Now I'll post on the image on the screen. I'll drop on the screen footages taken with these two cameras side by side. I have them set in the same exact settings. One is set to 8-bit and the other one is set to 10-bit. I'm shooting in 4K, 25 frames per second. Auto white balance, rock steady, wide field of view. I have auto exposure, auto white balance, of course. And what else? The EV is set to zero in this test. Later on, I will put some other footages taken with these two cameras side by side. One in 8-bit the second one will be in 10-bit d-log but i will color grade it with the lot that you can find easily on the dji website you, you will not see the log footage you will see only the graded one and i'm really curious to see if you can notice any difference between the footages try to pause the video at any time and write me in the comment section below your guesses at the end of the video, I will reveal the results and you might be shocked. So on the screen, you're gonna see mode A and mode B. Try every time to write me in the comment section below the clip and the mode, which mode corresponds to which color depth, whether the 8-bit or the 10-bit. Or if you can find any difference with the graded one, let me know that in the comment section below. And now, sit back and enjoy these footages.
So do you think that you spotted the difference between 8-bit and 10-bit? Do you think that you nailed these clips? You got all of the answers good. Let us reveal now the results. So yeah, that's it my friends. This is a fair test comparing the 8-bit, the 10-bit and the D-Log M 10-bit on the DJI Action 5 Pro. They are running on the same firmware, the first firmware that we had when we get this camera. So we don't have any firmware update yet. I was shooting in the same conditions side by side as you can see. How many good answers you got? Was it easy to spot the difference between 8-bit and 10-bit? I'm really curious to see your answers or your results in the comment section below. That will be very interesting to see because personally, with all what we have on YouTube, with all the compression that we have, it's really hard to find the difference in my opinion. But I'm really curious to see your opinion about that. I know that if you have many cameras, it's better to be able to color grade the footages so you can get somehow similar color color scheme on the footages that you have but these are consumers cameras these are not professional cameras once again i'm really curious to see your answer your results and thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and check my affiliate links once again thanks for watching and see you on another video ciao for now